Simplifying ratios which are expressed as decimals is quite simple as long as we remember that our number system is based on powers of 10. So 0 0.8 and 1.2 can be turned into whole numbers because in both of these cases the numbers are expressed to one decimal place. By multiplying by 10, the decimal point will move one place to the right and 0 0.8 will become 8 and 1.2 will become 12. Now we can simplify this ratio either by expressing it as a fraction or we can see that a number that goes into both 8 and 12 is 4. 4 goes into 8 2 times and 4 goes into 12 3 times. So the simplest ratio is 2 to 3. Let's have a look at another case where in this instance we've got one number expressed to two decimal places and another one expressed to 1. Now because we must alter a ratio by multiplying or dividing both numbers by the same amount, we have to look for the number with the most decimal places. In this case, 3.06 has two decimal places. And to remove the two decimal places, what we need to do is multiply not by 10, but by 10 squared. In other words, multiply by 100. So by shifting the decimal point two places to the right, 3.06 becomes 306. 5.1 starts with multiplying by 10 to become 51 and then multiplying by 10 again makes it 510. Now to simplify this ratio may take a bit more time because the numbers are quite large. A good way to do any division between numbers is to write the numbers as a product of their prime factors. So we've got it here where 306 and 510 have some common prime factors. In fact three of their prime factors are common. Two, 3 and 17. So that means if we do a division between the two numbers we can remove those numbers and we're left with a ratio of 3 to 5. So the simplest ratio for 3.06 to 5.1 is the ratio 3 to 5.